In this video, we'll be looking at the Quest accessory that promises to make these obsolete. Hello and welcome back to the VR Cauldron, the channel that aims to bring you VR and Quest news, reviews and entertainment. If that sounds good to you, then hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a video. You can leave any time you like. Don't forget you can get more VR info from our Discord server. And if you want to see more VR Cauldron in between videos, then be sure to check out the Instagram. Nobody got the clips from the last video. The one that seemed to stump you was Van Wilder. So here's another video about sweat, which is a problem that deserves to be covered when it comes to VR videos. We've looked at solutions like silicone covers and material covers that protect your stock interface. And then you can, of course, change the interface altogether, replacing them with products from VR Cover and AMVR that are much more sweat proof than the original stock spongy interface of the Quest 2, for example. But this time we have a product that isn't actually designed for a particular headset. So it can be used with any VR headset. This means you can have your headset configured any way you want and this product should protect it from sweat even the sweat soaking stock interface of the quest 2 so what is it let's take a look in we go um where are these anyway <laughs> these are silicone sweat protector thingies yeah so you're usually they would fit on top of there and when you sweat instead of this spongy thing getting filled with sweat instead it goes onto the surface of these and drips down your face Ooh. So Tommy. it's great, it works, keeps the sweat away perfectly actually, but it all just drips down your face and it's quite uncomfortable, it's not very nice. Some people love them, they're okay, I prefer not to use them. Oh, they smell a bit funky as well. That's just the silicone. Sweat plus silicone. Mm. <laughs> right, so, let's put that away. So we're looking at this, which is the VR dry mask. Only available on Etsy. Price popping up on the screen somewhere. So, what do you want, white or black? Black, because my makeup's going to show up on that one. There we go. I assume we're going to wash these, okay? By Vaticus. I feel like I'm going to become like one of those wrestlers. Hang on. I fight. What are they called? Luke Adora. Luke Adora. Oh, so, you put this on your face. And it doesn't matter then what accessory you've got on your quest, you can <laughs> you can you can have whatever you want on there. And I've got so I'm going to wear the stock one because I've got my glasses on and I want to wear my lenses and I don't want to have to touch the lenses, which ten really doesn't happen when I wear the stock interface. So I'm going to obviously take. It's hurting my nose already. Is it hurt? Oh god, yeah, it's very tight. It looks small actually. Your massive head's going to be massive pain. Hang on, so it's going to go over my ears. I mean, that's not. The worst thing in the world. <laughs> what do I look like? Uh, as stupid as me. Not your libre. <laughs> right. Why have you pulled your nose up to? <laughs> <laughs> so, can I put it over my ears? I don't really want it on. Mm. It's not in my eyes. It's po yeah, it, mine's like poking it under It needs my to be eyes. over your ears, doesn't it? It has to go over your ears. So obviously I've got no ears. So, I can, hang on, I can, I can tuck them in, can I tuck them in? Right, first impressions? Obviously we haven't tried it out yet, we, know, we don't know how good it is for keeping sweat away, but in terms of fit? Very snug. Very snug. What is, mine's pushing on my eye, my eyelids and yours is not Because I've near. pulled it right down, I've really tugged it. I've given it a right tugging. Right, okay, so away from my eyes now. Obviously we need to make sure the, the headset sponge You've gets got on a really there. cute little button nose. <laughs> I have got a little nose though. <laughs> Make up for my big ass. Right, so we're going to test these out, and then uh, when we we're going to get all sweaty, and then we'll get back to you and, and let you know how it's gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. See you shortly. Right, let's take it off. Uh. So we've done beat sober for how long? About 45 minutes? Yeah. Oh, God. Itchy. The weird thing is, though, I'm sweating. Like my, I can feel it on my legs. But around where the mask was, I just didn't really sweat. Did you? No. But that's not that, that's not, that's only half the story. Yes. <laughs> it, it's not the most comfortable. I mean, you found it really uncomfortable, didn't you? Yeah. It, it felt like I was being suffocated. 
I think it's a great idea. Yeah, like, please. The, the idea of being able to just put something on and then it doesn't matter how you have this. That's really good. This is... Mm, I can't feel you? any liquid in it. I, I got a bit of sweat on on the. Well, your arms are sweaty. Yeah, I know. Why don't you go by what your body feels like? And your body feels sweaty. I'm not talking about that though. I'm talking about this. How good a job has it done to keep oh, sweat off to this? To keep sweat off that. Okay, yeah. fair enough. In terms of keeping sweat off this, it seems pretty good. I should really like test it out on like Thrill of the Fight, where I like a sweat when bucket, you are really sweaty. proper sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Do you think that you could wear this for that long? Although it wasn't the most comfortable for me, I could wear it. Can I feel your stitching? Yeah, put mine on. Just, shall I try yours on? Right, okay. This, this. Can you see that there? Inside, the stitching is very sort of rough and bumpy. So I could feel that pressing into my head here. And also, the tightness of the nose piece was literally... It's it? like it was pushing my face back and I just felt... Do you think I'd really get, get away with it because I've got a little nose again? What are you saying about my nose? It's not little. It's not big. It's just not little. I think you say mine's normal. I got a nose. And nose. yours is small. I got a little nose. <laughs> You're just ignorant. Insulting my nose. Um, ignorant. I think that it's a really good idea. And both of us felt sweaty mm. on our body. But it soaked it all up. But we didn't feel sweaty on our yeah, face. Yeah, any sweat so from the face is soaked it all up. It. So I think for the purpose of what it's meant to do, <sighs> it does work. But it's not comfortable. So my suggestion would be sort out the um, stitching where the, the writing is there and make that not hurt like in your head. And also maybe have it where there is no attachment there. It's literally like a Velcro type strap. Mm. So it will be the perfect fit and size for different people's faces. I think that that would be um, my suggestion because I don't think, even though this did do the job and it did stop the sweat from being on my face, I would not wear this again because of how much it hurt. It does feel like it's putting pressure on your face. Well, I can still see all the lines on your head here. Really? And it had left red marks on my nose. <laughs> like it really hurt my nose. Yeah. But I think the the idea for what it is definitely works. You it's... haven't tried these, have you? I don't know, have I? A silicone cover? Maybe I'll try one then. <laughs> and what's that meant to do? Well, again, it just because this is like totally solid, mm. any sweat will not go through it. Okay. But because it won't soak anything up, unlike this... Won't it just drip down your it, face? It does, it just drips down your face. I actually prefer... like. This isn't uncomfortable. Mm. The when you put these on, it kind of feels a bit cold, which I don't like. But then you get used to it. But then all the sweat just drips down your face. Whereas these, I just didn't sweat on my face, and I usually sweat. I mean, I know I just said I should test it on for another fight, but I usually sweat when I'm doing boot saber. Yeah, you do. And I didn't on my face. Just it, it just gets it all in. But it was very, it very tight. It's very odd. It was very tight. Good idea. Then. And it does feel like it's. Your head's in a vice because yeah. it's. I can't convey just how tight it is. It's it's like someone is squeezing your head. That's the problem with this like kind of one size fits all elastic. Yeah. I think I think I think you're onto something with the Velcro. I think I don't know if they test it already, but you could just kind of definitely just if it could be like a Velcro strap thing. I think it would be much more comfortable. I wonder if you could just if you could do it as just like a mask, you know, like a COVID mask where it goes around your ears, but. It's kind of annoying. No, because it does need to sit. I think I think they've got their design right, as in like it's got to sit range. If I because it does stay in place, it doesn't move. Mm. Once it's on, it's not going anywhere. How about I mean when it's pushing it into my eyes? Yeah, it, uh, sometimes it pushes that up. So when it pushes the skin up under your eyes like that, it's like you can't see through the. You, um... You've got to kind of pull it down like that when you saw the eyes are big. But then it'll push on your nose. It pushes but, that. But it's in. not too much of a problem with me. It looks painful just looking at your face right now. I think that the idea is very, very good. It does Summer. work. It does work. Yeah, definitely works. Definitely works. A bit uncomfortable. But it's painful. Uh, yeah. Would you painful go, would painful you go, for you. I'd, would I'd, you I'd go say with uncomfortable. Uncomfortable for me, painful for you. Yeah. So maybe if you've got a smaller face. Which is funny because the last one, I didn't find your head device painful, but you did find that head device painful. Yeah, I've got a wider head. I think this is more of a pain if you've got a longer head. 
Oh my god, what's going on with you insulting my head? I'm not, no, I'm not insulting, I'm just you're saying you've got a longer head. I've got a flatter head. I love you for your long head. God. <laughs> right, uh, so that's that then. Back to the shed. Say so bye. Goodbye. So there was the VR dry mask from Valicus. Obviously, it's only available on Etsy at the moment, but they do ship to many different places. At roughly the same price as a silicone cover, it's definitely worth trying. I was able to get it into a pretty comfortable position, and not only did it keep the sweat away from the headset, it also stopped it dripping down my face, since it soaks it up. As Jess said, it might not be ideal for certain face shapes, and for both of us, it was pretty tight. And don't forget, if you wear glasses, because your ears are covered up, you might struggle to keep your glasses on. I think Jess was onto something when she suggested a Velcro fastening, which would allow you to adjust the tightness. Also, I think if used on a mega sweaty game like Thrill of the Fight, I'm unsure if it would keep all the sweat away from the interface. I'll be testing it on that this weekend, so I will report back if I run into any problems. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, and if you want to stick around for the VR information and entertainment, be sure to subscribe, and do hit the bell so you don't miss any more entertaining or useful videos that YouTube thinks that you won't like. So I've been Al, thanks for watching the VR Cauldron, and thanks to Jess for helping out. Take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you next time. See ya! Your protection spell Just don't have